Hello and welcome to another amazing session on CAT 2021 preparation. My name is Manish Kane and on behalf of Mendy or GK and Pathfinder Education Services, I welcome you to this session. Well, the news is, five days back it was announced that I am Ahmedabad will be the CAT convener, will be the organizer of CAT 2021. <laughs> and I have been getting some calls from students asking me different questions about what this might imply. And the student asked me, Sir, I am Ahmedabad is going to organize CAT this year. Somebody wanting to know, Sir, what might be the CAT paper pattern? Other students wanting to know, Sir, pattern change or I so my simple, you know, when I, when I received this flurry of calls, I said, why not answer it through a video? And that is why, although this video is not meant to answer this question, I am starting off by answering this question. What if I am Ahmedabad is the organizer of CAT 2021? And what if somebody from I am Ahmedabad has become the CAT convener? What does it mean to you as an aspirant, CAT 21 aspirant? Today, nothing. See, that, that fellow has not even got the order. Sarkari kaam hai, order milne mein time lagega. Unko order milne do. Let him start thinking about CAT 21. Abhi even he doesn't know. The convener himself would not know the CAT pattern right now. So why waste our time? Why waste our energy thinking about CAT pattern right now? Trust me, if your preparation is in the right direction, if you do the right things while preparing for CAT, CAT pattern will have zero impact on your selection or rejection. If you are good, you will be selected. If you develop yourself, you will be selected. If you do the right things in CAT paper, you will be selected. Paper pattern will be announced in ad adequately in time. And I am sure that time is enough for you to make those adjustments, those small minor minor adjustments which are required to tackle CAT. But primarily, I have always believed CAT is an examination that tests you on everything that you've learned in your life so far. And that is what makes it a beautiful examination. That is what makes it different from other exams that you face. So with this background, let us get started on CAT 2021 strategy. So the next point is, who is this session going to be useful for? इस टॉपिक पे आते हैं कि सेशन किसके लिए यूजफुल है। uh, I would like you to subscribe to our channel Mendy or GK, Mendy or Maths if you are preparing for any competitive exams. Uh, our batches for CAT 2021 starting every Monday. Uh, if you want, if you are interested, you can just inquire with us. The phone numbers and the website address is given there. So now. Let us look at who this session is designed for, who's going to benefit by listening to this session. So there are two categories of people who might benefit by listening to this session. Category one, people who want to write CAT but are confused about whether they should write CAT 2021 or CAT 2022. First category, who are confused. The second category of people is people who are sure they want to write CAT 21, but now are looking at the best approach to writing CAT from this point onwards. So if you belong to any of these two categories, stay with me for 15 minutes and I'm sure you will receive some value for your time. If you're confused about writing CAT, I can actually understand. Your dilemma is justified, your confusion is justified. I know where you're coming from. Last one year, the academic system has been derailed, classes not taking place properly, online classes not happening in most of the schools and colleges, exams getting delayed, exams getting postponed. You're not sure of whether even the competitive exam will be held. And if it is held, you're not sure whether you will be able to go to the campus to, to start your process of learning. And all these things are taken, you know, they're fully justified that you are confused about writing CAT because of these reasons. But I have a few things to say here. 
in the last one year, we have seen product launches, we have seen IPOs, we have seen mergers, we have seen companies doing well, and we have also seen companies shutting down. I can tell you one thing, in the next two years, if you write CAT this year and take admission to one of the leading B schools next year, I can assure you that within two years, either of the two things will have happened. Either we will learn to live with COVID and we would have modified our processes, our systems, everything to suit the new requirement or COVID would have ended and life would be back to normal. For you, this is the best year for taking admission. Why? Because not many people are thinking positively about CAT this year. Not many people are thinking positively about writing MB entrance exam. Well, that's your opportunity. If you utilize your time well, if you stay positive for the next 6-7 months, who knows, with less effort, you might actually be able to qualify a better college. And this is one of the biggest reasons why you should surely write CAT 2021. You may or may not make it, but you should surely try. Give it a try. Give it your best shot. So now that I have elaborated upon why you should write CAT 2021, let us look at a few things you should do from here to maximize your chances of success. So here is the first thing. If you want to write CAT 2021 and maximize your chances of success, the first thing, mind you, the first thing you can do is remove all negative and unnecessary influences from your life. And let us see what they are. First category. First category are people who discuss politics on WhatsApp, outside WhatsApp. Stay away from them. Discussing politics is not going to help you anywhere. Be selfish. Don't get involved in discussion on politics. It's not going to help you. Second, stay away from people who are paralyzed. See, people who are paralyzed are by default negative. They are confused themselves and they will tend to confuse you by asking unnecessary questions and creating unnecessary doubts in your mind. So stay away from such people who are not intending to write CAT 2021. Be selfish, just ignore them, just eliminate them from your life for some time. Third, another category of friends which you can avoid is Sarkari friends. People who are preparing for Sarkari exams. Yes, Sarkari bata bata ke aapka dimaag kharaab kar denge. You are writing CAT. It's a very different genre of exams. Sarkari exams are a different ball game. They require a different mindset. And therefore, people who continuously talk about Sarkari exams, just eliminate them, just remove them from your life for some time. You know, these are unnecessary influences. So people who will try to take you away from, people who will try to take you away from your goal, your goal is MBA entrance, you have decided MBA entrance, Eliminate everybody else who's going to dissuade you, who's going to take you away from your goal of writing this MBA entrance exam. They're all unnecessary, unwanted influence. Inko nikal ke bahar fek do. At least agle chhe saat mahine ke liye aapko inki zarurat nahi hai. The next step for anybody applying for CAT 2021 is to do some maths, some basic maths. Either you are starting off in mid-May or you might be starting off in June first week. Either ways, the first point or the first thing that you should recognize is you have anywhere between 170 to 190 days. So these are the total number of days available with you. And all your math all your calculations, all your planning has to be done for this specific period of 170 to 190 days. 
so you could divide your preparation in phases okay 170 days are there so let me divide it into first 40 days then the next 40 days and the next 40 days and you chalk out a plan for each 40 days that's up to you so when you start doing maths you need to know how much time you have how you would like to divide that time into phases or into zones then you could also spend some time planning out your preparation because most people or many people, many students I know, they are averse to planning for any competitive exam. But trust me, planning definitely helps give direction to your preparation. So you could plan for how much time you would like to devote to quant, how much time to vocabulary, how much time to other areas like reasoning and comprehension. Planning also helps you anticipate problem areas. So you might be able to anticipate, okay, one month down the line, you might face a critical situation or, or a situation which might require problem solving. Then you could also utilize some maths to identify how you would spend an average day, how much time you would like to study, when would you like to study, what time zones would you be most comfortable studying? Now, how to schedule your studies throughout the day, if you are free for the day? If you are a working executive, you don't have much time to prepare during the day. But if you are free, if you are a student, you can spend some time with this. So this is what I mean by doing some basic maths. What basic maths does is, it gives you a sense of direction, it gives you a sense of control, and it tells you when and how to have those feedback mechanisms to ensure that if your preparation goes haywire, you can bring it back into order. And that is why this basic math is required. More about this basic math in a following session. So what I will do now is, uh, I will have some sessions on how to work on your individual areas, for example, quantitative aptitude. Now, can you score a 90th percentile on quant? So I'll have a session on how to score a 90th percentile if you're starting from now. And how to score a 90th percentile in CAT 21 if you're starting now. Similarly, I'll do a couple of videos on how to score well or how to do well on English section as well as the DILR section. So wait for some more time and I'll come up, come out with these videos. Now the last thing that you need to do when you are preparing for CAT 21 is identify what exams are suited to you. For example, you are preparing for CAT. Now, I believe there are three types of exams. One type is CAT, ZAT and IIFT. The other variety is SNAP, NMAT and CMAT. And the third variety is TISNET and CET kinds. Now, when you start preparing for CAT, according to your assessment of the situation, apart from CAT, do target some of the exams so that your preparation is aligned to the needs of these different exams. Some exams speed will matter more than uh, you know solving tough questions. So if you're somebody who is not comfortable with uh, quant, who is not comfortable with maths, you would want to solve, uh, you would want to appear for exams who, where the level of quantitative aptitude is slightly lower. So accordingly, make sure that you align your preparation towards a few exams apart from CAT. This will ensure that you have a good chance of success in these exams. So with these words, I will I come to an end of this session. This is the first strategy session on uh, CAT 2021. This, is a, this was a general session. I will come out with more specific sessions aimed at particular areas. So you, you'll need to wait for that. Uh, probably in the next few days, you will see those sessions. Thank you very much for now. Thanks for watching this.